and seven. So Molly Caudry attempting what would be a new personal best. That is a huge personal best for Molly Caudry. That is a first time clearance at last year. And that adds 11 centimeters to her lifetime best hugs from Scott Simpson. But Molly Caudry, wow, she, is she gonna believe that? And have a replay here. Holly Bradshaw has had one failure here at 471. Molly Caudry over it and over it comfortably. She doesn't touch the bar. It's it's not a shaky clearance by any stretch of the imagination. That is a brilliant jump for Molly Caudry. And, uh, what a special day for the Thames Valley Harrier. That will be enough, I'm sure, to see her go to the World Championships to Budapest. At the moment, it's enough for the gold medal here at the British Championships as well. Holly Bradshaw has two more attempts at this height. It's quite unbelievable to me. I, the last 10 months I've been rehabbing, I had two surgeries. Um, so to come back and PB twice in one day, my second come back is... I don't really have the words to describe it right now and it's not settled in, but yeah, I'm just so happy. An extraordinary as well. It probably maybe exceeded your expectations for today's competition. Yeah, definitely. The aim was 461 because that's the British Athletic Standard for Wales, but to get the auto qualification was way beyond my dreams. And 70 is, is quite a big bar, so to have done that is just, yeah, it's great. Third attempt then, 475 for a new lifetime best and to stay in the competition. Molly Cordry, she's gone over, she sailed over, and you can see what that means to her. It's a new lifetime best, and Molly Cordry stays alive in this competition. The way she charged down the runway, it reminded me exactly of what she did to play a 465. That's a lifetime best. She, um, you can see on her face quite how much it means. What a time to bring your absolute best, a world championship final. Olympic qualifying, fifth in the world, my emotions are just all over the place. It's not settled in, but I just think, yeah, what a night. I can't, I don't have words for it. Bit of a pressure jump. I was on, on a slightly bigger pole, one that I've not used um, in a long time. Um, and I just got the crowd behind me, and that really just, I think that made the difference, really. It just meant, like, it was speed through the box, and then the jump just went after that, and came down on the mat, and the bar was still there. I was like, <laughs> just pure joy. Like, pure joy, and, like, all your hard work, the effort, you know, I've had two surgeries this last year. I didn't even think I was going to be at Wales. And now I've just come fifth. And like, yeah, it just all pays off. It's just pure joy. I came in really wanting to make the final. I was like, if I make the final, anything else is bonus. Top eight would be great. But top five is just like, that's amazing. I mean, I didn't have, I had no okay attempt to 80. Two run through to 85. I think I was just a bit tired by then. But just to be competing with those girls that I was watching a couple of years ago is so, so amazing. I mean.